Hello and welcome to the next round of the KIP Survival Tournament. This is round four, and in this matchup we have Heart Man Nader running the Miss of Salipolsis. We got our Polis, we got Sari and Star Lions Untamed. We see a quick little stone double Kirby, uh, double mimicry, yikes, uh, double tribute, and sorry, and this is a beast. Look at that. Um, and uh, out here we got Jay Philippeg, a fan of the show as well. He's got Countess Bentact Wiz Holmes, I think is how you say it. A Rise Gateway combo. You've got some nasty stuff in there. You got the uh, Drumble Tear combo. Uh, you've got, let's see, you've got Triple Nerve Blast, Bait and Switch, some classic Coda stuff, and uh, you've got some Untamed, uh, not as solid, but um, has some good Dust Pixie, Nepenthe Seed, uh, which the eye is always solid, so looks like they are shuffling up and, uh, and drawing up, and we are off to the races. This will be, this is great. This is going to be a good uh, Coda Worlds Collide showdown here. Let's see, does he have some anti-steal in here? He's got Odiac. Hartmanander goes with the first round of Flaxia, and it's never bad. All right, so we got Dodger, Long Fused Mine, Customs Office. Order to play an artifact. Does he have some artifacts in here? He's got the Quixel Stone. The Nepenthe Seat. No, not Nepenthe Seat. Wrong one. I think that might be it. Unless I missed, missed something. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Grant and Eric and all the guys at Kip running this event I think there's like 76 guys or something like that in this tournament which is crazy awesome and a true survival you pick three decks uh, and you bring them to uh, the tournament if it if a deck loses it's out and once you're out of three decks you're out of the tournament so I think they're this is day one I think they uh, I think they're going like six or seven rounds I believe Harmonator going with Untamed. Double Stealth Mode in Star Alliance. I feel like that's that's strong as well. Oh, I just realized three Light of the Archons. <laughs> Seems okay. All right, so Rusnar comes out there. So you could take out the Long Fuse Mine, the Customs Office. If he survives the fight. You may hear my adorable daughter in the background on this on this commentary. Okay, so Flaxia fights Dodger uh, and then plays Kangafant. Ooh, it's a foil Kangafant. Look at that. Another little bonus of Kip if you haven't seen it, but um, y you can get, for one deck, you can do random uh, two cards in your deck get turned into foil versions of themselves. So you can see it transforming there. I did it on one of my decks. I got Anomaly Exploiter and Grim Locust Ducks. And the big old dinosaur scene feels uh, pretty nasty when it happens. All right, so Jay Philippet goes with the gateway, gets rid of that uh, the nastiness that was sitting out there, and then goes with Pit Demon Schuler. So I'm trying to get head on board here, um, even if it's going to slow him down with some chains. All right, so he's going with Star Alliance. Kirby comes in with the Light of the Archons, which, of course, gives him plus one power and uh, plus one uh, armor for each upgrade. And then he uh, plays a Skewdom on him, so he gets two armor from the Skewdom and an extra from Light of the Archons. So this is a four-power, four-armor Kirby, which is going to be a beast to deal with.
All right, so it goes with this, gets shaffles out there, makes him lose some some amber. This little guy is pretty annoying. But he was able to steal a pit demon, reap with Schuler. Does he have targeted removal in here? He's got, seems like a lot of just, damn, well, he's got the second gate with a disc. Um, and that might be it. So this, this Kirby, unless he gets like, and even Oubliette, he's a four power now, so that can't get rid of him, but unless he gets triple nerve blast, relentless whispers, long fuse mines could help at some point. All right, so Heartmanator plays stealth mode, prevents him from playing action cards, uh, which will hurt with so many action cards in uh, in Shadows, especially. Unfortunately, the way that this is set up, I can't see their hands, uh, so I can't even guess where they're they're headed next. But at this point, he's played. In this, he did. He only played Shaffles last turn for Dis, so I'll, I wonder what his uh, what his hands looking like right now. All right, so Commander Chan comes down. Uh, Kirby fought Shaffles, killed Shaffles, and then, oh wow, yeah, Gravid Cycle. You don't see this too much. Omega Play, return a card from discard pile to your hand, and he brings back Stealth Mode so that he can go back into uh, goes he can go back into that. So he does go with Dis. Uh, and kills Chan, Pit Demon steals. Yeah, so I wonder... Oh, man, this is interesting. I wonder what his hand looks like right now. Because he went back into this. Yeah, that's tough, not being able to play any cards. But that stealth mode, that's what it can do. It can just lock your hand out. Neither player going wide yet. So yeah, he goes back into Star Alliance, stealth mode again. Lieutenant Kirkhard comes down with Taunt Hazardous 3. Kirby fights the Pit Demon, takes a damage because of all that armor. And let's see what card he's going to drop with Kirby. Tribute, interesting. Oh yeah, Kirby's a 5 power. All right, so, yeah, J. Felipeg drops the Witch of the Eye, discards the Curiosity because he can't play actions. Man, that those, those two turns in a row, the stealth mode, that, that hurts. Those are those are sort of like uh, those cards. And what's the, uh, what's the Logos one? Uh, it's, it's slipping my, my mind right now, but... Um, man, they can be like giant, like game winners, or they can do nothing. <laughs> like it's, it, they're very swingy cards. Uh, but in this one particular, he uh, seems to slow him down. But granted, neither player is on any keys. Uh, there's no chains anymore. Uh, Hartmanator's ahead with five amber to J. Philippegs two. This again, this Kirby is going to be a problem. Unless Jay Philippe can can take care of it. All right, so we we're seeing some Sarians now. Odiac comes out, which um, uh, which is tough because he has so much steel in this deck. So he's gonna have to take care of this uh, this Odiac. Um, looks like, and then he played Chain of Hubris to move one of the Amber to the Witch of the Eye to kill him. Although. Yeah, okay, so he goes untamed, pulls back the gateway to Dis because that's gonna how he's gonna how he's gonna deal with that Kirby. Um, except now Hartmanator knows it's coming. I feel like he couldn't he, he couldn't reap fast enough with Witch of the Eye. But I don't blame him. He also played Way of the Bear. Alright, so we got our first key. Hartmanator forges. All right, 
Wonder which direction he's going right now. Hmm. Looks like he's got a tough call here. He knows the gateway's coming, so he's probably trying to think around the gateway. He can push his board presence by getting the... All right, so he goes untamed. He heals him. Not It doesn't really matter that much. Um, okay, yeah, Ghost Sock allows him to reap with both, and then Kirby allows him to play something non-star line. So basically something Saurian because he's already in Untamed right now. So he, he, he's still dropping creatures down. Deepwood Druid is a very uh, disappointing creature most of the time. But he's probably clearing out his hand. He again, he knows he knows the gateway's coming, or he's all you know. He's forcing him to really go dis to take care of this board. He does have the long fused mines that he can go to if he's got some other damage. But looks like he's going dis. Yep, <laughs> there it is. The old classic: kill everything. All right, so uh, that puts him up to five amber, pulls out the charrette, captures three, plays Arise, and gets uh, more disguise back. He's got the Shuler, Pit Demon, and Shaffles. Uh, so trying to win back that board. Unfortunately, he can only get to five amber, um, so he's not in check yet, but uh, his, his board is strong. My my daughter agrees with me as you, you hear her commenting. All right, so w which direction is Hartman either gonna go? I wonder. Still deciding, looks like. Oh no, he mimicries. Sorry, he mimicries into K. What it is? It happened so fast, I missed it. Oh, mimicry. And then we've got a pawn sacrifice. Relentless whispers, pawn sacrifice. Oh, that hurts. It hurts to have to play both of those when there's nothing out there, but you gotta cycle your deck too, so understand that for sure. This is a This is an interesting uh interesting throwdown. So so J. Philip, he's at check at seven. Hartmanner has one key and three amber. He plays uh Sensor Chief Garcia, increases his cost, so uh he does not get to forge this time because his cost is eight right now. J. Philip goes with untamed Nepenthe Seed, Grasping Vines, returns Nepenthe Seed. Plays it back out. Plays the Dust Pixie. He's back up to 10 Amber. So you got to wonder if Heartmanator goes back into Star Alliance to get the Chief Garcia uh, key increase. I got to say that we... <laughs> I wonder if we're going to see a third gateway to this at some point with the uh, Nepenthe Seed there. We'll see if he wants to go wide again with the Saurians and Star Alliance. This is a good, good, good grindy match between Coda and Worlds Collide. All right. 
Man, this, th these are the moments where I wish I could see their hands. All right, so he does go Star Alliance. Uh, he's going to increase their key costs. And that's it. He just reaped to make him pay eight. Interesting. So then he's so then Jay Philip has got double nerve blast. Double nerve blast kills Garcia, so he steals up and then reaps, and all of a sudden Jay Philip has up uh, up ahead at five amber. Uh, here come the Sarians with uh, Stenopius. We've got Shrix, we got Jarda, we've got Perfectus Ludo to protect the Amber a little bit. Perfectus Ludo obviously being the one that uh, gives all the other dinos the uh, destroyed key keyword where all the Amber just goes back to the common supply. Uh, so now we're seeing this. We're seeing, here we go. Another another gateway. Another gateway. Uh, Nepenthe Seed, he's popping for a rise. Yep. So gets the Arise back, drops Arise, gets a ton of disc guys. Wow, what a combo. I mean this is this is classic Coda here. Alright, so he so he's got Snud, Shaffles, Pit Demon, Charette, and Schuler coming back. Oh, he's okay. So he saved. Looks like he saved the sh Schuler. Gonna let him uh, burst up if he wants to. Interesting. Shaffles makes him lose one. Oh, he also saved the Charette. So he's he's uh he's saving his options. I respect that. I don't think I'm patient enough player to wait for those, but that's probably why. I'm not as good as Jay Philpeg. All right, so Hartmanier goes back to Star Lions. Let's see what he can do to catch back up here. Oh, we got a wrong house. All right, switching to manual to change houses. Hold, please. You can listen to my daughter's adorable coos. That's some see that's just some, some good sportsmanship. Just a quick change. So he's going back to untamed. Love to see that. Love to see that in a tournament setting. Misclicks happen, right, people? All right. Where is he going? All right. So he's got untamed pick. What's coming down? Hope we don't have connections issues here. Disconnect, reconnection. This is this is strange. Hold, please. There he is. Okay, so Hartmeyer goes mimicry to copy a rise. Then he brings all of his crazy untamed stuff back. And it is a lot of untamed stuff, but it's not quite as oppressive as the dis. Mimicry is a uh, is so such a helpful little uh, 
card sometimes. All right, so Mustic Mermic comes down, kills the Shaffles. And then here comes the crazy stuff. Unfortunately, Ghost Thought can't really do anything right now because they're all exhausted. See, the Schuler and the, the uh, Charette aren't going to be super helpful. I mean, Charette will be able to capture one, unless he has more untamed stuff to play. <coughs> Un okay, so he plays Unnatural Selection. Interesting that he played that now when he could have played that a little bit sooner, but maybe he just missed that. Flaxy comes down. Okay, so there you go. There's your there's your Schuler uh, Schuler Charette play. Plus the pit demon. Well, I mean, so maybe I might go Schuler pit demon Charette. Long fuse mine. Oh yeah, I forgot that was even on the table. Still, deals three to each non-flink uh, enemy creature. Yep, pit demon. Schuler. Oops. Yeah, he did it out of order. So is he going to save Charette now? So, okay, so Snudge goes back to Kangafant. When you're the active player, you can choose the uh, the order in which that resolves. So that's how that works. And then Charette comes down. So Jay Philippeg with, a, I would say, a comfortable lead here. He's got seven amber. Both, both players with one key. And even with uh, three gateways, lots of chains in this game, but Arise is a is a powerful card, people. All right, heading into turn thirteen. All right, well, where's he going? What house? All right, there's there's a time limit on these games. Hoping we don't hit that time limit. Love to see the conclusion of this. So lucky you got my King of Fan out before dying. Yeah, so Snudge, in case you're not following, Snudge has a fight reap, return an artifact or flank creature to its owner's hand. And then Kangafant says every other creature gets reap, destroy this creature. But the active player chooses the order of simultaneous triggers. So that's how that was able to, to work. And he got around it. So he goes Saurian, Thero Centurion comes down, captures one, Philophosaurus. And then he tributes, probably going to take quite a bit here. Okay, so it looks like he only did it once.
Uh, so Schuler fights Philopasaurus to kill him. Snudge is going to return Thera Centurion to get those Amber back. And then I imagine Pit Demon is going to steal. And Shred Reaps. And he's back up to 10 Amber. And in check. It's interesting, this, this, this game started off with that Mega Voltron Kirby. Uh, thankfully, uh, the Gateways were able to deal with him. I don't feel like he's been able to really recover since since that first Gateway. All right, so Heartmanator goes, takes Untamed, uses the Mustard Mermic to reap. I wonder, uh, I wonder, does he have anything else? I guess he's got that second Mimicry. I don't think we've seen both Mimicries. We got one. Yeah, just, oh, no, there's a second one. So there's no no real tricks here. All right, so Flaxia fights Charette to get that Amber back. Rusnar fights Snudge. Yeah, I think he he's trying to slow down this Discord because this Discord has been rocking him right now. And then Kangafant comes down. So, um, yep, there's that foil Kangafant. It's beautiful. All right, so Vigor comes and uh, Vigor heals three damage. You basically get an extra one so he gets two here comes the ancient bear and ends his turn at five amber with two keys so he's not in check quite yet let's see what we we've seen two nerve blasts so there's at least another nerve blast Oh, and here's the Quixel Stone. If a player has more creatures in play than their opponents, they cannot play creatures. <laughs> <coughs> well, um, I guess let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, this game might be going to time. Who knows? All right, so Mustic Mermic turns into a Voltron Mustic Mermic with six armor and... Uh, I guess he can reap and ward with the King of Ant. This is what is happening. All right. So, yeah, Jay Philippe goes back to uh, to this, uses Shuler to reap, which destroys him because of the King of Ant. Uh, Pit Demon steals. Poltergeist gets one. All right. So Poltergeist gets out there and kills the uh, Quixel Stone and ended that real quick. So he's up, up to nine Amber in check. Uh, keys cost seven right now for both because of Mustic Mermic. Let's see, does he have, uh, he just drew into a new new deck, so I'm trying to see what he could have. Um, maybe some tributes, although it would go on the King of, no, it would go on the, uh, it would go on the Mustic Mermic. So a couple, a couple big tributes could slow him down, but let's see, he could get him down. Yeah. This... <laughs> But this King of Ant. All right, so he stomps to kill the Pit Demon. Will we see? Centurion captures one. Flophosaurus, and that's it, people. All right, that's it. Congratulations, to Jay Philippeg. The Triple Gateway uh, came out and did work. And uh, luckily, that 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 Mega Mega Voltron Kirby uh, couldn't survive the Gateway to this. So. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, good luck to both of these participants, and we'll see you in the next video.